Hi everybody, I'm going to do a quick walkthrough of my September setup for my pocket. This one stays on the counter in my kitchen. Um, I write notes, um, I look at its quick reference. Um, I'll see it, I'll show you as I go through it some of the sections that I have. Um, and then it goes with me um, to go. I did the primary setup for this is using the Take Note Collection from Fairy Tale Scrapbook Club. Let's get to it. Tired of rambling. Dainty K um, makes some great bows, and so I have that because it matches the kit perfectly. On the inside here, I have um, a Target Dollar Spot um, adhesive pocket. Now, I would have loved a secretarial pocket. I have one on order, hasn't come yet, but um, a secretarial clear pocket from Foxy's Fix is what I'm looking for. But this, again, if you don't have the means or you don't have anything, these Target Dollar Spot usually come around every September in the Dollar Spot. I don't know how many times I gotta say Dollar Spot, but that's where they are. Um, you get six or so um, and you can just adhere them and they will come off, so I'm not really worried about them coming off. Um, on my plan, off my planner. So, um, Fairy Tale Scrapbook Club, she does a great job at designing her own papers and she makes ones that look like notepads. And so, um, I've done things previously using this paper to make notepads, but I just wanted to slip a few pieces of paper in here. So, if I wanted to write notes, I can. And I also used a little die cut here and a heart, um, just so when I come to see my planner, I've got a little peekaboo. Um, fun action there. Uh, this is an insert cover um, using some of her scrapbook paper. Um, I've got a little Bambi inspired. I love the fact that it's um, teal. I put a little washi behind to kind of ground it um, and then I made a couple tabs. It's just like literally five second project but it really makes your planner something personal for you. Um, I love these little dainty K and Co little clips here. I'm going to unclip so I can show you what's going on. Again, um, Annie Plans Printables Pocket. This is a 2017-18, so it starts in um, in July and goes all the way to July 2018. Now I've got my September month set up here um, using some of those puffy stickers. I've got some of these Aero Epoxy stickers here, and these like almost fit perfectly right here in the square. She also has other stickers that are um, just flat, regular stickers. And she's got some deco stickers this month, which is brand new that I haven't seen from her cat. So that was a really nice surprise. And today is the September 5th, and we have pictures today for the bigs um, at their school. So I thought these little camera was very appropriate. And this is just some scrapbook paper I had laying around, so I just put it on their bottom here. And um, here's my little bookmark I made for the month. This is actually um, scrapbook paper included in the kit. What I've done is just printed it off um, digitally onto, and you can get all of this digital files. I believe it was like $15, which is a steal. Um, I'm not sure if the price is current um, for this month, but I think I bought it for like $15 So um, previously. But this is um, printed on acetate. I use overhead transparency paper, and I just print it out on my laser printer, and then I laminated it. But before that, I put this little die cut heart here. So it's like my little, I've got a, um, a little planner clip and then I have a, like a little bookmark that I can move throughout the month um, or the pages wherever I need it to be. So isn't that cute? I thought it was a pretty good idea. So let's move forward. And there's the back side of the insert. I've got a hello. Um, and then here I have another, an interesting thing. And I'm going to take this one out because it's a little bit different than what you would expect. Move this to the side here for a second, because here's where the tutorial part comes into this. So instead of just making a piece of acetate to go in between, I've decided to make an acetate folder. And so basically what it is, is just the acetate that goes around the notebook or the insert, but it has a pocket on the outside. And so it's super easy to make. and. Um, let me just show you how I did it. First of all, I took several pieces of scrapbook paper, laid them all on top of each other, and printed it out onto my laser printer. And then so that's what this is. This is actually three different pieces of paper from her kit, um, just layered together in Photoshop. And then I printed it off, and it has a clear background. So, so if you're wondering how to do this, um, I'm going to take this off here because it's just surrounding it. It's not really even attached. 
but literally is, let me just move this out of the way too, but this is literally just a piece of acetate folded up. And here are the measurements. I have a little template, and as you can see, I had a little trial and error, but so it's seven and one eighths across, and then there's two different measurements. You can do it this way, where you have this measurement here, and then this one here, or you can just do it as a whole. So between the, the corner here and here is six and three eighths inches, and then along this bottom part is three. So if you mark here and mark here, then you just cut that angle off. And so you can obviously round the corners, you can make the scallop, you can do whatever you want, but this um, like pocket size is three and a half by five and a half is what um, a pocket is, but obviously three and a half plus three and a half is seven, but I add an extra eighth of an inch because it takes account this fold here. So that is what those numbers mean. And so then I've got this template and I can just stick it in my drawer and it's ready to go for next time. So let me, um, hold on a second, let me put this all back together and then I'll show you, oh, I'll keep going. All right, so there we go. I'm all put back together. Isn't that super simple? And then you can obviously put some fun ephemera in there or you can put lists like I do on the back side. I've got these awesome lists. Um, today's awesome list, just little pieces of paper that you can um, slip in there. So I've got my list. And again, I use the tab on the top. The next insert I have here is um, this one. Let me open this up real quick so you can see. This is the Autumn, um, Autumn Rose insert from Annie Plants Printables. And the reason I use this, I love this Autumn Rose, but I wanted something a little bit more um, feminine. And I just wanted to show you guys that you can feminine up fall um, by doing, I've got this little piece of acetate. Again, this is Bambi, um, for lack of a better term. Um, so this is the Bambi paper. And I just, again, printed that off onto acetate and then cut it to size and then added these die cuts up front. And so if you look at some of the deeper tones in this autumn rose, it's ex almost exact as here and you can get away with it. And so I'm also bringing over the tan colors over here by using these pieces of paper. So, so these papers and the autumn rose can go together if you know how to pair them right. Okay. That was a fun tutorial, wasn't it? So I've got another tab here. I didn't use my tab cutter this time. I used these tickets that she has included as a die cuts in the kit, and I just stapled them. Um, actually, it's a fake staple. The staple doesn't go all the way through. I just stapled this little square plus this um, ticket, stapled them, and then adhered them, and then adhered one on the back as well. So I don't really care for looking at the back of here because usually you just go ahead and flip to what you want. But uh, um, so I just wanted to, uh, backing basically for the top tab here. All right, so moving to the next um, insert. Again, Bambi looks fantastic against Autumn Rose. And I would have a die cut of that Bambi and he's right there. Um, and this um, Foxy Fix, this is one of those dashboards you can take in and out um, and replace um, as need be um, any paper or ephemera you really want. So basically I just, this is one sheet of paper and then I added die cuts on the other side. So here is my next insert. This is my meal planner insert. Again, I took the extra from here using it elsewhere um, as a acetate right there and um, honestly it's too short so all I did was add a facing of washi tape on the bottom so if you see it like right here is where the acetate ends and so all I did was add this washi tape at the bottom it matches it goes well um, you, you can always almost always fix <laughs> your issues or your problems or your mistakes obviously this was a huge mistake but it's fixable and it looks fine and I like it. And sometimes those are happy accidents is that what I call them. So I've got my meals here, um, another die cut, and then I just use my um, tab cutter and this is the one I use, the Fiskars tab cutter. And I don't fold it over, I don't really care for this long tab up top, I just cut it and then I just adhere it. So, And I could have faced it with another tab on the back side, but I really didn't feel like it at the time. So got my meal planner going. Um, 
See, got my meal planner for this week, almost all fixed up and prettified with my take note collection. Again, backside of this, and I have this, again, this is just one piece of scrapbook paper. It doesn't take much to add some um, fun to your planner, and then I've got some um, die cuts and this, this great um, puffy sticker. That's what you call it. Okay, so uh, moving forward, I've got my little macaroon. Um, this is my wellness goals. I have another piece of acetate that I did. This one I did cut correctly. <laughs> Very funny, isn't it? Um, I just wanted to add some, the same washi as I did previously with these puffy stickers just to ground them a little bit. And then I used some die cuts to use as a tab. So I've got my wellness planner and then I have this, which at first glance might not go together, but personally I think it does. So I have my Christmas planners, which is like blacks and golds and, and deep red, and I was trying to marry the two, and by doing that, I think I came up with something pretty. I use blue as the com combiner, the joiner between the two, so I have this blue here and the blue here, and I've got Mary and Bright, and this Bright is from the Girly and Strong collection. She has these puffy stickers in that collection, and so I just stole it from that kit, moved it over here, and added my own alpha. So I have my um, my Mary kit, my um, Christmas planner, all ready to go. I know it's September, but seriously, it takes a while. And then I have um, these little, you know, these you see Mr. Bambi again. Instead of printing them off in color, I color I printed them off in black and white. So as you can see, so it kind of joins in with the black from here and um, makes it work. And then um, this one does not come with a pen loop. I don't care for pen loops. I just stick one of these pen loops on the inside of the acetate and everybody works happy for that. All right, everybody. Um, thanks for going through my walkthrough and my quick ramble. And um, down below in the description box will be a link to the... Take note collection and Foxy Fix and everything else I used in the planner. All right, take care. Bye.